What is fibromyalgia? Fibromyalgia is one of the most misunderstood disorders in medicine today. It affects more than 60 million individuals in the United States alone, more than diabetes or cancer. Research into the causes and treatment of this disorder is exploding, but the information that's available to patients is often misdirected, mistaken, insulting, or completely wrong. Patients are told every day by healthcare providers and loved ones, as well as sometimes online, that fibromyalgia is a disorder that does not exist, that fibromyalgia is a garbage can diagnosis that's made when a doctor can't find anything wrong with a patient, that a patient with fibromyalgia is just stressed, depressed, or even crazy, and that the symptoms are not real. Patients are told that they are simply seeking attention, that they're hypochondriacs, and that they're wasting the healthcare provider's precious time as well as their own money. I can tell you that this is simply not true. I am Dr. Barbara Bruce, and I'm a pain psychologist and the clinical director of the Fibromyalgia Treatment Program at Mayo Clinic in Florida in Jacksonville. I have worked in the field of pain management and pain rehabilitation my entire career at Mayo Clinic, first in Rochester for over 25 years, and now at Mayo Clinic in Florida for the last two years. In that time, I have seen thousands of patients struggling with fibromyalgia. They are young, as young as 12 or 13, and the oldest patient we've seen was 92. They're all miserable, hurting, exhausted, sleeping terribly, often with brain fog, and overwhelmingly normal. They just want their lives back. It's difficult for someone with fibromyalgia to get an accurate diagnosis. The current estimates of people who have fibromyalgia are thought to be a gross underestimate of the true number of people struggling with this disorder. In part, that's because there are healthcare providers who do not believe that fibromyalgia is a real disorder. Instead, they are very open in saying that if no laboratory or other diagnostic abnormality can be seen and measured, then fibromyalgia is not real. They continually send their patients to different specialists to try and figure out one symptom or another. On the other hand, there are other people who will not accept it when their doctor tells them that they have fibromyalgia, even though their doctor likely is getting it right. People often do not want a diagnosis of fibromyalgia because they have heard negative things about it, they don't want their family or friends to think that they're crazy, or they may not want an incurable illness that causes pain and suffering. And instead, they will insist on seeing yet another specialist so they can keep looking for another cause for their pain and suffering. I want you to know that fibromyalgia is real and that the pain and fatigue of fibromyalgia is real. At Mayo Clinic, my physician colleagues and I believe that the diagnosis of fibromyalgia is real, that the pain and fatigue and suffering that people experience with fibromyalgia are real. Patient, patients tell me every day how much that statement means to them after months or years of feeling misunderstood and not helped. Research is helping to understand what is thought to be causing the pain and other symptoms in fibromyalgia. My frustration is in knowing that this information is not being spread far enough or fast enough so that patients can get effective help in managing their symptoms and get their lives back. Today I want to start this conversation and I hope you will keep it going. Thank you.